Hi everyone, my name is Anton. And yesterday a great model was released, ML Depths Pro from Apple. In my opinion, one of the best models for depth estimation today. And I think this is a reason to make a video that I have planning for a long time. Is it possible to use monocular depths for robots, navigation or real size estimation? Moreover, this model predictions are metric with absolute scale, so need no need to mm, do some magic with distances, with normalization and so on. A few words about this work. The quality of the work is impressive, especially on object boundaries. Every hair is visible, just check images from original papers. I run all this on myself and was super impressed. I never saw before something like this. The work, this work has a cool team of authors. In this work, two of three authors are did Midas. It was a super nice network for um, depth, monocular depth estimation that everyone was used for a long time. And uh, one of the authors, Alexei, it's a legendary creator of YOLO before. So pretty nice team, pretty nice uh, work. Third point, uh, this neural network is quite resource intensive. Uh, the author says that on uh, V100, the network spent only 0 0.3 seconds. Uh, but at the same time, it's required a lot of memory. For example, I tested this a bit on my uh, laptop with uh, 360 NVIDIA GPU with 6 gigabytes of RAM. And that's not enough memory for this model. Everything is working super slow because of this memory issues. Let's first look at the predictions and the accuracy on these predictions. But before this, I want to say that I have a lot of reviews of classic 3D cameras on my channel. So subscribe, please subscribe if you're interested in this. And uh, soon there will be much more comparison of different 3D cameras with each other. So let's go. Our setup, 2D camera, 3D camera, and here we will compare the results. Here you can see how good the image is. So let's check a few distances here. As you can see, it's around 4.6, 4.7 meter. And for example, like one distance here, it's 1.7, 1 1.6 1 or so on. One distance here on this lamp, it's 4.5 meter. And for example, somewhere here, and it will be 2.2. .2. Okay, and now let me recalculate the same scenes, but with a little bit different background on it. Okay, and now it will be like 4.8 here instead of 4.6, 4.7. It will be... 1.5 here instead on 1.7 it will be like uh, 4.6 here instead of 4.5 and it will be 2.2 here it's around the same that it was but as you can see the object here bec uh, aim closer the wall here became farther. Okay, let's do one more test. Okay, and the third test, the wall here is like 5.1, 5.0 instead of like uh, 4.8. The uh, here it's like 1.6. It was almost the same like was for the first measurement, like maybe like there was 1.7 but uh, it's like 4.9 here on the lamp which is much further than it was like it was 
five, I think. And here it's around the same, like 2.3. What was the difference between these three scenes? The difference was what was lying on the bed. And actually, uh, it's affect the distance. Like, the current distance is pretty stable, but the objects that are lying in field of view, they can change the distances a lot. And also the light condition. I didn't manage to shoot this video, but at the night, the same distance to this wall was about like six meters. And here is the image I took during the night. And as you can see, there is six meters here. So depending on the condition, this distance can be from 4.5 meter to 6 meter. And it's pretty big difference. And now to verify ourselves, let's check the distances from 3D camera. It's OAK D Pro camera, which has pretty good accuracy on such distances. It should be like the error should be around a few centimeters. And as you can see, here is the place where, uh, which I was selecting, it's 5.3. And uh, here is like the place on the chair, it's 1.4 meter. And uh, here is like the point on lamp, it's around five meter. And uh, here is like the point on the table, which is, exactly 2.2 meter. So all the distances, they are different. And uh, during my experiments, these distances for 3D camera and from for this monocular algorithm was different, like around up to 25, 30%. Okay, and let's compare the same on the different scenes. It's just background, my background. Okay, here we can see that. Here we can see that uh, this chair is 2.4. This place on the chair, 2.7. Uh, this plant is 3.3. .3. And uh, let's check here. Like this point uh, is... 3.3 .3, and this one 3.5 does this mean that monocular depth doesn't provide significant quality the difference with the real 3d camera is big of course not and it because it's not needed uh, in its most actively used for completely different tasks like image generation, video edit editing, segmentation and much much more real uh, tasks where all the 3D models are needed. But monocular vision is not applicable like for robot, for real navigation, for technical vision and so on. Will it be appropriate at, the, at some time? And here I just want to show you an old and classic video and ask you, dear viewers, if you can determine the distance of all objects in this frame.